How you all doing? What we're going up to in this video? Making some bracketry so we can fit the fan, fitting the radiator, making some more bracketry for the uh, oil cooler, making some new pipe work for the oil cooler, and fitting the oil cooler, but only for mock up purposes because then it's all coming off again. Right then, so this is our radiator, this is our fan, should go on there, but all the fixing points have turned to dust. Uh, by the way, I'm not using this radiator, it's just for mock-up purposes. And uh, these top fixings are okay on this radiator, but this radiator is knackered. But on my radiator, these are snapped off. So what I'm going to do is come from there, that fixing, to the fan. Just make some brackets. One for that side, one for that side. So let's try and do that. Seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay, I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays, way back a year ago. I've changed for the better this time. I thought I would never be fine I strive just to say I'm alright And for the first time in a long time I'm alright I've seen a lot of change Been through a lot of pain Some things are not the same As they were a year ago But all will be okay I move on each and every day The past is where it stays Way back a year ago a year ago is watertight so let's see if it fits just carefully push it through there try and put that onto there it is a bit tight with that knot on the bracket but it does just go on So, go around to the other side. This side has the bolt in it. Stick that on there. 
push that through there to try and line the oil up a little bit. The bolt through. Tighten it all the way up. This bolt is a bit long, I'm not using these bolts. Go all the way back to the exhaust. The exhaust at all, so that's all good. Now I've just got a back of bracket to put underneath. Underneath the bracket should come off here like that. But this somebody's cut that bracket off, obviously. And I'm not sure if I've got the bracket or I've got to make one. I have to have a rummage round for it. You can see in there, there's the bracket there. It should go to that there. Hopefully I can find a bracket or I've got to make one. And then when we've done that, I've got to try and fix that down there somewhere. Whereas I could come off the same bracket, couldn't I? Yes, I'll try and fix that to the same bracket. It looks about like that. So, let's get on with it. Right then, so just making some like templates out of cardboard for my bracket. Uh, just following the tips of uh, Michael Weller, if you've ever heard of him. So that's a sort of go to the engine, that's going to the radiator, and then down this bit looks to go to the cooler. So I've got to stick something like that on there, so I could fix the cooler to that. See this pen, uh, the little cardboard there, piece of cardboard template what I've made. That should be like that. Which would be perfect. Make a bracket out of metal like that. And if we go around to the front, that's what it looks like at the front, and I did just sort of guess it. This bracket is sort of at an angle, if you know what I mean. That's why that's gone like that. So that's obviously going to have to be on tapes and uh, horizontal. Right then, so we want something like that. <laughs> I might make it in two pieces to give it strength. So anyway, let's try and do it. Right then, so I've found these two bits of aluminium. aluminium Aluminium. So let's see if we can't do it. Put that up there. Mark a line to where we want to cut it off. Cut that piece out. So put that in there, cut it out. But I'll tell you off why I cut it out because I'm going to use the angle grinder and I don't want to get bolt metal all over my lens. Okay, I could have filmed it because there weren't no sparks. It is a bloody hot. That's that piece. We've got plenty more left if we need it. So clean that up a bit on our uh, worn out sanding belt. I've got some new wood spot. It's putting them on. So this stuff gets really hot, as you know, but I haven't got asbestos fingers. I just dip it in some cold water every now and then. No, it's not pee, it's uh, water out of the water pot. So we've got that looking like that. I'm going to bend that piece. I think the hole can go about. There. We drill this hole first.
tidy that up a bit. Okay, so I did make the oil a little bit bigger because that bolt's bigger at the top. So let's uh, carry on with our guesstimating. Mark that crease just there. And uh, stick that in the vise and bend it to that. So I did it up by an eye. Put it in the vise so it's sort of to one side in line with that. So when I look down there, that is perfectly level. Sounds like I know what I'm on about, doesn't I? So I think I'm going to need the uh, rubber mallet to wet that. So we've gotten that to there. Like so. It's got to go to there. That's what I come out like that. So I've got to bend that there again. Okay then, so now we've got that. It goes up to there like that. Now this bit to make it separate. So I'm going to have to have the square bit and uh, that bit to fix to there. So let's try and make that bit now. Just get that on there, mark it up like that. And cut that out. And I must say I do love this part of fabricating stuff. If it goes wrong, it goes wrong. If it goes right, fantastic. And uh, you do sort of drift away while you're doing it, if you know what I mean. All your anxieties, all your worries, just drift away. That's it, just cut that out, so leave that with me while I cut that bit out. There we are, cut out. Looks a bit rough, but uh, we'll get there. And that wants to sort of go on there. Or on there. And then, I've got to bend that piece down. And hopefully, We've got something we can work with. So let me clean all this up and I'll be back in a minute. Okay then, it's been a while. I've been doing quite a bit. Uh, I've got up with this bracket. That was going to bolt onto there. Then I was going to cut that off at the angle to fix this to it, but that's not going to work because when that's on there, pipes that come out here just go straight into the exhaust. Of course they do. So I'm going to discard that bit. Put that bit on, that's perfect for the radiator. Just that bolt there for the to the engine, and that bolt there to the radiator. So the radiator's got three fixing points. Three, uh, what are they called? Three 
remove these rubber mounted fixing points. Oh, I've been lucky and I have come across the original bracket that fitted to the front of the frame, front of the forks, which uh, was part of the um, bearing frame for the headlight. I found that and I've been messing about with it, manufacturing it, making it fit to this. So that can go up there like that. Then we've got oil cooler. We'll have to go that way around, somewhere like that. I still can't have it that way, the original way, because the pipes just come straight to the exhaust, so it's not very good. And then, when this is up there, I like that, make another bracket coming off this and going to this. So that's fixed up there as well. I've just took the uh, two side engine bolts out, this side, fixed it to the engine bolt there, and on the same on the other side. So that's where I'm at. I think it's all going to work, so leave it with me. I'll be back in a bit. Oh, yes, that bucket just bolts onto there like that, and the uh, radiator fits to there. And I've still got this piece to come off where well, I can attach that somehow. And the radiator will be fixed to there, like so. And that's how it all look. I've always been wanting to uh, keep the uh, belly pan, so that's why that's there, just to uh, make sure nothing's catching or hindering. It looks a bit silly like that, but I'm gonna eat it up, bend that up so it comes up nice with here, and then hopefully fill like that in with like a shelf. Uh, well, you'll see it when it's done. Okay, then we're a bit further on. I've got three sets of these oil cooler pipes, so I've cut one up. I've got that, so that's a grin go about there, like that. We've got this cupboard out here. Sort it off just there. You could turn this any way you want to before you tighten it up. It's just going to go about there like that. This is going to come round here like that. And you can see this pipe here. I'm going to cut that to length, obviously, and join some rubber pipe from there. there. And hopefully that'll work. So that's where I'm up to now, so leave it with me and I'll be back in a bit. Okay then, so that's that fitted to there. Got the pipe on. I've done it, I've joined it just there and I put a jubilee clip on that bit. And down this end I've got this rubber bit on here is just handy to catch on to that. I might make some other sort of fixing bracket to hold that in place. But if we go down there we'll see where I've just forced the pipe on there. And I've got to get a Jubilee clip. <laughs> Save down the bottom there, there's the pipe coming out of the engine. Got to get the Jubilee clip for that one. They do the same on the other side. All I want to do now is make a bracket from there to there. I'll just put a piece of metal in there and take it to that. And that's that it's secured as well. So there we go. Radiator fitted. Oil cooler fitted. Oh, did that take some doing? Yes, it bloody did. I enjoyed every minute. Now I've got to take it all off again and paint it. Okay, so we've took it all off. 
and we're ready for paint. Thanks for watching.